Hi guys and uh, welcome back to my channel. Today we have the DYS F4 flight controller in front of us again with the F30 amp DYS ESC which is not a very good ESC to be honest. So a lot of people have been writing me, complaining, telling me that it is, no matter what they do, like putting a trillion LC filters, low ESR capacitor, the OSD flicker and there is still noise. So I started thinking about this and I had a little theory, it's just a little idea, so I said, well, you know what, we're going to test it. You know, and a lot of people really just got basically, some people really got screwed with this. It's a very expensive piece. And especially if you're a newcomer, you know, you're like, oh yeah, I'll just plug it in and I, that's it, I'm good to go. No, you're not good to go. Some, you might be, depending on your motor, you might have the, the worst problems ever. So, now, the the point of this video is to actually try to get it fixed for those people. So, hopefully this is going to be our first test our first try to <clears throat> actually try to fix this so what i had thought is i have um a 16 volt 1000 microfarad low esr capacitor in the house so i said you know what what we're going to do is we're going to stick a the 16 volt capacitor on the 5 volt rail and for the vtx i'm going to power it off my power bench to give it a clean power supply so we know that the noise is not coming through the vtx and this way we can monitor the noise and basically separate the noise which is that's on the 5 volt regulator between the camera and the OSD. The OSD noise, we will see it through the flickers. Camera noise, we will see it through the lines. The VTX should not have any lines because it's getting a clean input. So if we do see some improvement in this test, then there is hope in real life testing because I still have not put it on a build as you can see. So I'm gonna have to go back to you guys and you guys are gonna have to let me know if it really helped or not. So hopefully if we do see a pretty dramatic improvement in the testing, then it should do some improvement in the real world testing. So, so far, most of the testing I've done has actually reflected in real life very well um, and pretty accurate, mostly accurate. I still have not had one failed attempt, which is, which I'm very happy for and hopefully it stays like this. So that means our current way of testing, everything is accurate and it's very good. So, so that, that's a good point right there. So if we do see a dramatic change on the testing, then it should reflect in real life with some kind of change. I'm not saying it'll clean everything up right away, perfect, but you could actually, you know, you could have a little bit of noise left, but it's actually flyable. So that is the aim of this video. So right now I'm gonna stick that 16 volt 1000 microfarad low ESR capacitor on the five volt rails. We're gonna test it. I'm gonna have the FPV footage next to each other from the, um, without the 16 volt and with the 16 volt, and we're also gonna have the uh, oscilloscope running as well and that's it so let's get started and see how it goes Alright guys, well, um, that made a big that made a difference. There's still some noise, but there's huge, 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 very big improvement. So that's very good. So that that means that there is a very good possibility that that'll clear things up for you. Now I'm gonna have to ask you guys to actually go and test this out because um, I still have not built mine. But once I do, I will do the same exact thing. But the reason why I'm asking you is because you probably already have it on a build and it might help you out and it might help others out if it does do make a difference. So through the testing shows there is a dramatic difference. I can still see noise when I go frame by frame, but the noise is not as bad. I mean, the OSD is absolutely clean. I mean, not absolutely clean, but compared to before, I would consider that perfect. Um, so overall, this test was successful. Um, this theory was well it seems successful here on the testing on the bench right here but remember i'm only using one motor so and soon i'm actually hoping and trying to organize a way hopefully when maybe support kicks in a bit more i'm gonna actually go and design and engineer my own 
custom testing bench where I could actually set up four motors, four ESCs, and simulate actual flight. So that would be just super awesome. I'll revisit everything then. But till then, uh, this is what I have, and this is all I can do, and I'm doing my best to provide for you guys and myself also. So. Uh, huge improvement, huge difference. Uh, this is very good. It seems promising. And yeah, so theory is partially successful, I would say, until it's tested in real life. And that'll come back to you guys. And I really, really, really would like for you guys to update me on the status of this theory here so we can help other people. And um, hopefully it does make a difference. And hopefully people, you know, didn't, didn't waste their money. And that, that's the whole point of this channel, really. I just don't want people to get bit in the ass like I have before so yeah um, it made a difference it was a 16 volt Panasonic 1000 microfarad low ESR capacitor on the 5 volt rail doesn't matter what 5 volt rail you use as long as it's on the flight controller and it should be good now this is assuming also you've already cleaned out your VTX also with another capacitor that is on the battery terminals and that should even increase your system overall cleanliness of noise. It should really, just really thoroughly clean out everything and it should be better than this test, hopefully. That is the theory and that's all I can say right now. I can't say much more. So I'm gonna have to ask you guys again. So you guys have to let me know what's up with that. And that's gonna conclude it for this video, guys. I really, really hope this helped someone out there. And if you guys have any questions or any suggestions, feel free to let me know. And that's going to conclude it for this video, guys. So please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you next time. See you guys. Take care.